Hello everybody and welcome to an Exis TV. This is Kainite and this is the match that we've all been waiting for. Navi against Nostalgia in the Prague Challenge 2013 final. Now I know I said it was final early uh, it was a final earlier on between Nostalgia and Nexus. I was wrong, so forgive me for that. So we're gonna start off with the knife round here. Actually no, we're going straight into the pistol round. My bad for that. So Nostalgia obviously consisting of Taz, Overdrive, Neo, Apex and Kenny S. We've already, already seen a lot of them throughout this whole tournament. We've seen more of them than we have of Navi. And Navi, obviously, well, Navi need no introduction. They've got that one man, Markalov, who uh, has been terrorizing Counter Strike players since God knows what year. But he is a legend with the orb. It's, it's safe to say that. And one thing Counter Strike Global Offensive has brought to the game is a good shot by Markalov, the one USB there. And it looks like Taz is going to try and make his way onto that A-bomb site. Starix will take care of him. And Navi, look like they've got everything under control. I've got a second. Two, three nostalgia players have made their way past Edward. Takes down Neo. They know he's there. Overdrive drops into that, towards that B-bomb site. A-bomb site, sorry. Again, I'm going to keep mixing him up because I am an X-Source player. So four versus one. Overdrive now by himself. He doesn't have the bomb. He's going to push Say9 and takes him down. And now it's all down to Starix and Edward to try and uh, really get this first round on the board for Navi. Overdrive only on 8 HP. Edward holding a nice angle. Good anticipation by Edward. He's going to spot his foot and he's going to take him down for that first important round. So, uh, any Ukrainians are watching? Privit. I think that's how you how you say hello in Ukrainian. If not, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, the way the uh, financial system works in Counter-Strike, if you win the pistol round, well, quite simply, you get more money and uh, the opposing team are somewhat financially crippled for a good one or two extra rounds. So on paper, we should be seeing 3-0 from Navi, unless Nostalgia pulls something out of the bag. One thing we, we saw earlier on in the tournament was when a team lost the pistol round and they went for a buy. They brought up AKs and Galils without armor, and then they completely took the whole game by storm. But anyways, I do have Auto Director on for a change to see what's going to happen. Edward gets the first kill onto Overdrive. Mar Markalov not too far behind. Edward drops Kenny S, who did have the bomb in that upper apps area. Taz is going to push A, will drop Starix, and Say9 knows exactly where he is. He's going to push him, and he's going to take him down for round number two for Natus Vincere or Navi. Natus Vincere, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. But so far, so good as far as the Ukrainians are concerned. Obviously, the fact that Nostalgia are even in this final being a mixed team is uh, quite a big surprise for everyone. I think everyone was expecting Inexus to be, you know, in Nostalgia's place at the moment. So, still a deco from Nostalgia. Kenny has make his way up Banana. Starix playing Banana rather aggressively. And he is going to spot Kenny S. He's going to shoot that M4. And looks like the Train of Terrorists are now going to make their way towards Starix on Banana. Starix with two kills. They're still going to push him. Say9 pops out to help him with that UMP. Drops Neo. Kenny S by himself. Starix finishes him off. And Starix is going to go and search for that fourth player in task. He's going to spot him. He's going to spray him. And he's going to kill him. So a four-man, an early four-man from Starix from the Ukrainian side. From Navi. From Natus Vincir. And so far, Markalov is still on a FAMAS. <laughs> Quite simply because he has been on the, around that A-bomb site, so he hasn't gotten many kills. But I'll tell you what, as soon as Markalov gets an AWP in his hands, we're going to take Auto Director off and start focusing on him. Because if you want to put money on anyone really getting a few kills, I'll tell you what, it's him. So anyways, it looks like Taz, as usual, he does play that banana quite aggressively as a terrorist. Zeus will drop him. Neo with a nade will drop Zeus. Zeus, sorry. And now it's all down to Starix and Say9 to try and hold off whenever Nostalgia throw at them. In that banana area. Apex and Co. look, however, to be focusing more on the bigger A bomb site. However, now we have gone for a 2 2 split, so Markalov is going to get pushed here from all sorts of angles by the terrorists. He's, he knows exactly where one of them is. And he's going to push that bomb site. Will drop overdrive in the upper apps area. Can he take down Apex? No, he can't. 2 versus 3. Neo, lovely headshot onto Say9. And now it's all down to Starix. 50 HP. He does have an M4, but he's up against Kenny S's scout. I believe that's a scout. 
Apex's AK and Neo's AK. So what can Starix pull out the bag? He's going to make his way around Quad. Apex drops into the pit area with Kenny S to boost him, actually. And Starix going to go for it. No, he's fallen back to, towards CT spawn. He might get an exit frag onto Neo. Again, we are using auto director, so uh, not really watching exactly where we want to watch. But it's just something I want to try out. And there's the kill from Starix. So 3-1, Nostalgie on their first buy round made Navi pay and did take that round, which will be an important round, of course. We still don't see an AWP on Markalov, but I doubt they'll be too worried with regards to that. So AK-47s all round for the terrorists and M4A4s all around for the counter terrorists. So we're seeing Taz playing Banana aggressively as per usual. They're going to try and push the CTs. Banana's been quite interesting so far. Neo spots one of the CTs from Navi. Tries to take him down, but Taz will take down Say9. Zeus returns a favour. Can Zeus take down Neo as they both pull triggers at each other? Zeus has been flashed. Neo will take down Starix. Zeus takes down Neo. And now 2 versus 3. Apex only on 8 HP. But I think it's safe to say that Nostalgia are going to make this push onto that smaller B bomb site. Now Markov is at the back of the bomb site. I'm not sure why Auto Direct is not here we go. He's gonna take oh beautiful shot knew exactly where he was, took down Kenny S and all, now it's all down to Overdrive and Markov. So Overdrive watching Banana. He doesn't know that Edward is slowly making his way from behind him. Edward will finish him off as he lands that bullet in his face. And he's also gonna finish off Apex. Great round there by the Ukrainians. Fair play to them. They were a man down at one point, but with the experience of these of these players, Markalov, Edward, etc., etc., you know, being one man down isn't gonna make isn't really gonna put them at a major disadvantage. I mean, they were a man down, but they still went for it, and that goes to show that they are positive. They are giving it their best, and you know, they are being well positive. There's no other way to put it, really. Which is something that in Nexus, you know, sorry to uh, compare. Okay, let's get back to the game here. Apex tries to push that bananas, but we can have a proper banana push. That Molotov is out, so uh, Nostalgie are going to have burnt feet. It's, no, it's gone slower. But yeah, it's something we didn't see much from Anexis. Um, there'll be times where a player will be two versus one, and there'll be times where they'd be three versus two with them with only two players, and they just simply wouldn't go for the clutch. They'd opt to sit back and basically save. And that was really negative from him, and I think they suffered in the end because of it. But anyways, Kenny S, we saw what he could do against the Nexus with that Glock by himself towards that smaller B bomb site. But it looks like we're gonna have a mid push. So Zeus, Zeus, sorry, has quad covered. He's gonna spot Neo, who only has a Deagle. Markalov pops out of Arch to take him out. Can he get the second? Yes, he can. Can he make it three? Well, at the moment he can't, but he might get a kill later on in the round. So two versus five. Looking good for Navi at the moment here on Inferno. Markalov does make it three. The bomb's down right in front of his two eyes. And he might be able to make it four as Taz will pop out of Boiler Room. Mark I'll tell you what, Markalov is looking right at him through the wall. And Markalov gets the four, man. Well played, Markalov. We were saying he wanted an AWP, but I'll tell you what, he's just as good with that M4 as he is with his AWP. Uh, well, we can he is keeping the M4, so fair play to him. So let's have a look at the scoreboard. Um, 9 kills, 1 death for Edward, Markalov not too far behind with 8 kills, 2 deaths, Starix with 6 kills, 2 deaths, Zeus, 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 I'll never get the hang of his name, 3 kills and 4 deaths, and Say9 with 2 kills, 3 deaths, Neo, for, as far as nostalgia are concerned, I'm going to let's concentrate on this, looks like we're going to have a quick push into this smaller beat bomb site, Apex, checking all kinds of angles, will spot Starix, but Starix takes him down and that bomb is lost inside that basket somewhere on Banana, so it's going to be poor from nostalgia. They shouldn't have really went so got, gone so aggressive and lo and uh, risk losing the bomb like that. Down goes Overdrive to Edwards M4, and I think what looked to be a smaller bomb site push from nostalgia has gone completely down the drain because they've lost the bomb. Good news is that Kenny does have the bomb now, so fair play to him. And it looks like nostalgia is still intent on really trying to push that smaller B bomb site. Very tempted to call it A once again, but I'll get the hang of it eventually. So yeah, it does look like we're gonna see a, a slow push from Kenny S and Taz. 
HP wise, we're doing relatively well, but Say9 doesn't care as he lands that bullet in Kenny S's face. And now it's all down to Taz and Neo. So Neo goes towards that smaller bomb site to join his teammate. Doesn't matter now, Taz has fallen to his death. And Neo will join him in hell. So 6 1 to Navi. Looking good from the Ukrainians. Really, I mean, they were, a, well, one of the best Counter Strike 1.6 sides at one point, if you ask me. And, uh,. I think it's fair to say that they're continuing that form in Counter Strike Global Offensive. It's 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 one thing CS:GO has done for the community, um, has really combined big teams from CS Source with big teams from 1.6. I mean, you think about the previous match between uh, Nexus and uh, well, have Nexus played Navi? I'm not quite sure. But, I mean, just imagine Nexus versus Navi. You've got the, the Counter-Strike source legends like Rattlesnake, MX, you know, the rest of those boys. Lovely two-man by Edward. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. And then playing against 1.6 legends like Zeus, Markov, Starix, C9, and Edward. So, uh, that's one thing Counter-Strike Global Offensive has done for the community. And I think it's worked very, very well uh, in the, in the favour of the game. But obviously, we all know that CSGO has... Uh, more problems despite what we just talked about. So anyways, Mark Loff is going to get pushed by Taz. And he's uh, he's got him in his back pocket. So 6-1 so far to Navi for those of you guys who just tuned in. Very slow round so far. I'm not quite sure why Auto Director insists on sending us towards the B-bomb site. Particularly when the T's are making their way towards that A-bomb site. Zeus will drop Apex. So far we've just seen Navi really slaughtering nostalgia left, right and centre. So, uh, Kenny S is a world-class player. He is in apps. He does have the bomb. Edward, unfortunately, has him covered. But Edward, simultaneously, is only on 1 HP. But Edward doesn't care. And lands that bullet in Kenny S's back to take him out. So, 7-1. To the Ukrainians as they rack up another round. So, they've been impressive so far, Navi. Uh, impressive. There's no other way to put it, really. They've played well. Nostalgia, well, you know, it's a CT-sided map. So, if Nostalgia get three or four rounds, I think they'll be fairly satisfied with that. And then they'll, you know, be looking to have a solid CT half. It looks like we're going to see... Again, I like how, how Taz and uh, another of the Nostalgia players keep working that A-bomb site. It looks like we've got more smokes going on. So Taz is going to play behind that car and Sane 9 and Starix, sorry, he's going to push him and Starix is going to take him out. Lovely jubbly. So Nostalgia, you're already a man down. So you want Nostalgia, you're going to have to uh, coordinate and push somewhere. Markalov holding Arch, takes down Apex. Zeus getting on the score sheet himself. Can Markalov make it two for himself? Yes, he can. And now it's all down to Mr. Russian Overdrive. Down to go to Markalov's M4. So lovely three man by Markalov. Maddock killed three opponents. So yeah, not much to say. Just typical Counter-Strike, typical Inferno, really. CT's dominating. Not seeing much from the terrorists, particularly considering this, you know, terrorist side is a mixed team. Um, obviously, Taz. Uh, he's part of ESC Gaming alongside the likes of Pasha and Neo, who also is in the mixed team. Who might actually get taken out here at Banana. Actually, no, it is Taz, not Neo. C9 throws that Molotov and deals a lot of damage onto Taz. Well, tell a lie, he's only 10 HP. Zeus is going to push mid. What was Apex doing? He was uh, crouched in a corner, looking at the floor, examining the floor. So I'm not quite sure what was up for that. So Edward opens his account for this first round. For this, uh, for this round, sorry. Makes it two for himself. And at the moment, Nostalgia, well, they're in trouble. But then again, Nostalgia did lose map number one earlier on against the Nexus. And then they just blew a Nexus away with the next two maps. Because, obviously, this final is a best of three game. So, uh, you know, Nostalgia might just sit down and say, Look, guys, Inferno ain't our strongest map, despite the fact that we thrashed a Nexus 16-1 on it. Um, and let's just, you know, concentrate on the next two maps. I believe the map number three is Train, but I can't remember... What they decided map number two would be. But anyways, so far so good as far as the Ukrainians are concerned. As Say9 finishes that round off with a cherry on top. So 9-1 to Navi. Going well so far. I mean, nostalgia really. Running out of ideas. They've dispersed grenades all over the place. Markolov still doesn't have an orc. I'm not sure whether he doesn't plan, whether he plans on buying an orc or not. 
uh, or whether, or whether he quite simply, you know, he hasn't died yet in order to uh, use his money on a north percent because he can definitely afford it. They can, well, if Navi put their money together, they'd afford a tank by now. And Navi, uh, Mark, uh, Mark Ross, I have to now. The Starix opens the killing in the round, gets two as he takes down Apex and Taz. The rest of the nostalgic boys are going to try and do this uh, dive. Juice pops around the corner from Quad and deals with two terrorists. So, so far, so good. And again, an absolute whitewash as it stands from Navi. I mean, this entire line has been I mean, past the group stages or the early games or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> it, the matches have been weird. We haven't really had any, any 16-14s or 16-10s. It's really been relatively one-sided uh, despite the fact that we've got very big teams going up against each other so I don't, I don't really know what to say but so far I wouldn't say this match has been entertaining um, we've seen some interesting stuff like there Taz taking out Say9 Markloff is gonna get pushed now on Arch drops Neo and Overdrive lovely M4 work and Taz will push that smaller bomb site spots one of the CTs can he take him down not at the moment, as Starix gets dinked himself and takes down Kenny S. The teams are going to continue to make their way into this bomb site, and Starix has it under control, so 11 1. Seeing the same thing from Navi, individually probably slightly better than Nostalgia. Then again, they are the team here. I think if people were to place bets on the winners of this game, it would be Navi without a doubt. Well, I'd definitely put my money on Navi with them being a team. And then again, it's probably still a bit too early. You know, to jump to any conclusions. Everyone thought a Nexus would beat Nostalgia, because a Nexus were the team. But then Nostalgia blew them. Well, blew them away, there's another way to put it really. But anyways, 11 1 in favour of Navi. Let's have a look how everyone's setting up. It looks like Nostalgia gonna try and push this bigger bomb site already. Apex and Taz getting on the score sheet. They push Arch. Edward has it covered. He is on 19 HP. He's gonna run away. Apex takes him down with a bullet up his backside. And three versus two, and I think this is the second time Nostalgia are actually a man up against Navi. So hopefully they can use it to their advantage. Say9 roughly knows where all the terrorists are. Well, they're going to be a bomb just went down, so it's going to be one of them near the bomb site somewhere. So he's going to throw that Molotov down on towards near the bomb site. Is it going to deal any damage? No, he's not. Overdrive in or perhaps make noise. Starix knew where he was, but Starix pushed him first, and the angle didn't go in his favour. And Say9 is all by himself, so he's going to push this smaller bomb site. But Apex has got it covered, and we do see round number two from Nostalgia, which is exactly what they will have wanted. Um, really, there's no other way to put it. They're going to have to try and get another two rounds out of somewhere if they uh, you know, want to stand a chance of winning this map. Really, they want to aim for, well, I said three earlier on, but to be fully honest against Navi, you want to really aim for a good four or five. Obviously, five is out of reach now because Navi already have 11 rounds. So hopefully, Nostalgia can get another round on the board. And make it four. Level four. But anyways, Taz goes down on Banana like he has done very often. Neo, lovely nade onto Starix, who's trying to use the sandbags for cover. Didn't go in his favour at the end. Neo and Kenny S push this smaller bomb site now, and Navi are in trouble. Edward pulls that knife out and starts running towards the other bomb site. He's gonna have to try and rotate. He's gonna have to try and defuse that bomb. He's walking at the moment. I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but he's the boss, not me. Zeus making his way through from CT spawn. Little does he know Neo's there. Well, I'll tell you what, he does now. Took him out. So two versus two. Kenny S only on two HP. The time is ticking and the bomb is beeping. Overdrive gets tagged at the back of that bomb site. Edward will start to make his way into that bomb site along with his teammate Zeus. Kenny S takes down Edward from behind. Runs towards Ruins. The bomb is ticking. Zeus takes down Overdrive, but I'll tell you what, he's not going to have enough time in a very, very, very important round for Nostalgia there. You know, they could still pull a comeback in the second half with three rounds. It's going to be rare, but they're going to have to play the CT side of their lives, particularly considering they are against Navi. But you know, this is Counter-Strike, and anything is possible. Uh, you know, there's no other way to put it. So, 11-3. Uh, and it looks like Nostalgia are going to slowly make their way towards this bigger A bomb site. They are in apps. We know Kenny has just jumped through balcony because we saw that through X ray vision. And I think that this 
Hang on a second. Neo's rotated. It's gonna. I think it was a B fake actually, an A fake. Sorry, Neo's gonna. Oh, he's gonna get taken down on Banana, and whoever, whatever teammate is uh, at Banana with him, is gonna remain hidden because the CTs have him under control. Apex makes his way towards that bigger bomb site. Markalov gets on the score sheet not once but twice. And Zeus joins in on the action. So now it's all down to Taz to try and pull this three versus one clutch off. It is, of course, the last round of the game. He jumps towards second mid using that underground passage. And it looks like he's going to make his way through apps. The bomb is obviously down into, near the A bomb site. Yeah, I believe it's somewhere close to boiler room. So that explains why he's gone towards the apps area. And he is going to go down the stairs. So he's holding that position and watching up perhaps. Say9 holding the back of mid. Oh, hang on a second. Say9 can see the bomb. So uh, if Taz goes towards the bomb, well, Say9 will have him right in his crosshair. Mark Kalov, here's Taz coming. And Mark Kalov finishes him off. So 12 3 in favour of Navi. Very, very strong from the Ukrainians. Haven't seen much of Mark Kalov's orb, but we'll forgive him for that. Yeah, beautiful count strike so far from Navi. Textbook stuff, really. They haven't overcomplicated things. They've just done what, you know, you know they're all good at, really. And that is pop a lot of heads. <laughs> but anyways, let's have a look at how Nostalgia is setting up. Same 3 2 split. Interesting tactic by Navi. They're all stood at mid. And, oh, Kenny S throws that nade and blows Edwards to smithereens. Apex, hello, hello, might have. A guest making his way through upper apps. Markov holding the bottom of mid, and so far so good for both teams. The time is ticking as we approach the 60 second mark in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 60 seconds. And hopefully we'll start to see something from all the teams. So it looked like they went and faked the banana, but now they're going to do a quick push onto this bigger bomb site. Obviously, it is a pistol round, so they only have blocks. Markov has been spied around Arch, and it looks like they're all going to push Arch, so they could push Arch to A. Can't quite tell at the moment. No, they are going to try and plant on this bigger bomb site. They know where Neo is. Well, now they do. Starix takes him down. Two kills for himself. Very good stuff by Starix. Can he make it three? He's got his crosshair exactly where Neo is close to appearing. And Starix finishes him off to get number three. And now... He drops Starix. He makes his way towards that bomb site. But Zeus takes him out. So well played, Zeus. 13 3. And obviously, Navi need two more rounds to uh, really stick nostalgia at match point. So far, looking at the scores, Neo 9 kills, 15 deaths. Apex 6 kills, 14 deaths. Kenny S 6 kills, 14 deaths. Taz 6 kills, 16 deaths. And Overdrive 5 kills, 15 deaths. Starix with 18 kills, 6 deaths. Makalov with 18 kills, 6 deaths. Edward with 17 kills, 7 deaths. Zeus with 14 kills, 7 deaths. And C9 with 7 kills, 6 deaths. So everyone on Navi with a positive KD, that's what we like to see. Ooh, a bit of team tuck in there. A few dinks left, right, and centre, but I do think some of the Navi players with Glocks did by head armor, so fair play to them. But yeah, Kenny 9 has dropped. And a slow round so far. I think we still are going to see a bigger bombsite push. Taz is going to get pushed by now, now by a bunch of terrorists. Markalov finishes him off with that lovely S, with some lovely SNG action. The rest of the T's are going to drop into this bombsite. As C9 drops from upper apps and takes down Apex. Overdrive drops to his death thanks to Starix. And now it's all down to Neo, who Edward spots. Edward, surprisingly, can't finish off. 14-3. In favour of the Ukrainians. So we're seeing uh, an early buy from Nostalgia, I believe. Actually, no, it's not an early buy. It is fourth round, but they have P90s. So I'm not quite sure how to explain that. P90s and pharmacies, so uh, they obviously bought one too many things in the last round, and now they're made to suffer. So uh, 
I could even see Navi take match points. So Kenny S playing mid rather aggressively. Knows exactly where one of those Navi players is and uh, gets his second nade kill of the half. So good nade work by Kenny S. Definitely knows how to explode onto Navi. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended. Actually, why tell a lie? It was a pun intended. <laughs> anyway, Star is playing banana by himself. Lovely headshot onto Neo. Now. Well, really, both bomb sites are open. Saint Nine is going to get pushed by Taz, but he'll take him out despite being flashed. Well done, Saint Nine. And so far, 50 50. Four versus three. Overdrive. Guess what? I think will end up being a consolation kill on that smaller bomb site. And I think the terrorists are going to try and push Apex. Yes, they do. Edward takes him out. And now it's all down to Overdrive, who is by himself on that smaller bomb site. So uh, we approach that 15 mark. Edward falling off, looking at the wall through <laughs> through the wall, um, exactly where Overdrive was. But of course, he's not hacking its LAN. Edward doesn't hack. He's just very, very good at the game. But anyways, it looks like Overdrive is going to go for this. Actually, no, he's not. I mixed him up with one of the terrorists. But anyways, I mean, he hasn't been good enough from nostalgia, but they are a mixed team and they're up against Navi. I think this. 14-3 current score is what we should have, you know, expected from an Exodus, for example. I mean, I think most people would have put money on the fact that we would have had an, 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 a Navi in Exodus final. And that would have been really fun if that happened, because it would have been, like, one of the best teams in Source versus one of the best teams in 1.6, but obviously it wasn't meant to be. However, Kenny S obviously is an ex-Source player. I'm actually not too sure because to Neo Taz. I know Overdrive's the next 1.6 player. I believe Apex was a source player as well. His name seems to ring the bell from my playing days. I'm not too sure about Taz and Neo. Neo for some reason just has 1.6 written all over him. Uh, I just seem to distinctively remember him being a 1.6 player, particularly because he plays with Pasha. And I think Pasha was also a 1.6 player. Um, but yeah, but it's good to see players of, you know, both Source and 1.6 really combining together, making mixed teams like this, and competing in global offensive. So, uh, anyways, back to what was going on there. We well, we saw what happened. Apex pushed Taps, and took out two Navi players. Neo with his shotgun taking out Zeus, and I think we're going to see. Round number four for nostalgia on the board. I'll tell you what, things have slowed down, haven't they? Not as, not as enthusiastic as before. Starix pushes up Banana, takes down Neo, Overdrive gets in on the action, and now it's all down to Starix to try and pull up the 4 vs 1 clutch. He already takes down Overdrive, he's going to get greeted by Kenny S from behind with that shotgun. But it's all down to Starix now on 40 HP. He does have one of every nade, so fair play to him. Funnily enough, we do see two shotguns from Nostalgia. Taz is going to push Starix, and Taz is going to take Starix down. So, uh, Nostalgia pick up that AK-47, which will obviously help them, now that they have M4s. And we are, actually. Are we going to see a buy from Navi? No. We're seeing an eco from Navi. Fair play to Navi. They want to save their weapons up. Well, they've already guaranteed the draw on this map. Obviously, if the winner of this map wins... If, the, if this map wins map number two, they will be crowned champions of the Prague Challenge 2013. So far, so good. Edward, obviously, the only terrorist with an AK. They might use him to make noise with that AK to sort of fool nostalgia into thinking that Navi have gone for a bite. Swiss does have the bomb. And it looks like the terrorists are going to make their way up towards that smaller B-bomb site. Neo deals a little bit of damage onto Starix, and yep, it's confirmed now. We do have, well, the entire Navi team making their way up. Banana, and it's just a matter of time before they throw the flashes over. Disperse them left, right, and centre. Oh, there's smoke number one. Hasn't smoked overdrive out fully, though, and I think we are going to see a push. What is Auto Director doing? Switch Auto Director. Here we go. So he makes his way into that smaller bomb site. Oof! I thought he team killed there, someone there for a second. He took down. Actually, he did team kill Say9. He did, he did. 
theory me. But anyways, CT is going to try and retake this bombsite. Overdrive plays rather aggressively. Gets dropped to his death thanks to Markalov. And it's three versus two. Now Nostalgia make that a three versus one. I do obviously have the gun advantage. So he knew exactly where Starix was and finished him off. So I think I think Navi more or less had that slightly under control. They wanted to get the bomb down, but the uh, team kill probably took him by surprise. And it looks like Taz has timed out. Well, here we go, he's back. Obviously the problem with him timing out means that I don't think... Yep, that's right, he doesn't have... He lost all his money, basically, so that, ugh, really, that's not going to help nostalgia. And I think at the moment now they're just going to say, look, let's try and play the rest of these rounds out and see what happens. And, you know, if we lose, we lose. We're going to have to concentrate on map number two. And I think nostalgia you know, will be happy with second place anyway. Assuming they take it, you know, they could still take first place. Who knows? But anyways, both teams on a buy round. Barzus and Edwards, they both have Gallics. Well, the terrorist starts making his way into that balcony area. Really, they're spread all over the map right now. I think it's a matter of, you know, guys, we've got 15 rounds. Take it slow. Try and force Nostalgia into a mistake. And see where that takes us. We we'll are watching Overdrive, thanks to Autodirect at the moment. I've got to say, he has improved significantly since that first match he had. <laughs> he, for those of you guys who don't know, he isn't a Counter-Strike Global Offensive player. He's an X1.6 player, and this is his first, well, more or less the first time he's played Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So, fair play to him. A few rumours going around that he's some sort of Russian billionaire that paid for everyone to attend the line. Um, we've been told it's not true, so let's see. Neo pushes that banana bomb site. Banana plays, takes down Zeus and Starix, but gets dropped to his death. Thanks to Edward. So two versus four. The CT start rotating now towards that A bomb site. Overdrive hiding. Takes down C9. And I'll tell you what, Edward won't go on much longer. Manages to drop Kenny S. But Overdrive had it covered. So 15 6. Can we see a nostalgia comeback? They've got three rounds in a row. And we see an eco from Navi. Deary me. It's not going according to plan, is it? They are quite. quite low on cash. So let's see what Navi can do. I mean, we've seen him win eco and deco rounds before. It looks like they're just gonna, you know, bomb up banana. So let's see what happens now. Neo plays rather aggressively. Neo takes down Zeus with that M4. Can he make it two? Yes, he can. Down goes Marek. Three in a row. Nope. Starix drops to his death. Kenny S and Overdrive get themselves on the score sheet as well. So a textbook round. I think Navi just wanted to get that round out of the way. Which puts some 15-7 down. Obviously, Nostalgia need another another eight rounds to really level themselves up with Navi. So I think Navi, you know, trying to take things things calm now. That'll be what Markov will tell the rest of his teams. He is the in-game leader. <clears throat> so uh, they do have weapons now. They're gonna split, and we'll see where that takes them. So Neo throws that nade, deals two HP damage onto Zeus. Could end up being you know being significant at the end of the day. How many times do you shoot a Counter Strike player and leave him on night on one HP to deal 99 damage to him? So Apex gets the opening kill onto Starix. Zeus returns a favour and evens things out. Auto director is being a retard by spectating Edward and T spawn whilst other players are taking each other out. I don't think I'll be using Auto Director anytime in the future. But if you're watching Valve, sort it out because it's a uh, it's a good concept. But you've got to make it work. Kenny S lands that beautiful orb shot onto C9. So 4 versus 2. Edward sneaking towards Arch. He runs into Neo. Neo takes him down. Markalov takes down Kenny S as he lands that bullet in Kenny S's skull. Markalov gets 2 for himself. And oh dear, Markalov could turn this into a disaster for nostalgia. He deals damage onto Neo as well. So what can Markalov pull out the back? Can he pull off this 4 versus 1 clutch. He takes down Overdrive. What is Auto Director doing? Get watching Markalov. He's watching Markalov now and all he has to do is push Neo who is on 9 HP and can Markalov get this 4 versus 1 clutch. Picks up that nade, throws it. It's going to deal damage onto Neo. Doesn't deal enough damage. Now 13 HP on Markalov and 9 HP on Neo and 20 seconds remaining. Markalov does have the bomb. Neo knows that Markalov is you know, not going to have enough time to go to the other bomb site so Neo is going to be all eyes on the A bomb site. Five seconds to go. Markalov can't spot Neo. He's going to plant. Down he goes. Can Markalov get a four man? He knows exactly where Neo is. And Markalov grabs that four man and the winning round for Navi. And we will see you guys on map number two here at the Prague Challenge. Thanks for watching.